Juventus. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite subject? Yeah. Um, I think no one likes it, but I really like it that. <laughs> so, when you think about your time here, what was some of the highlights? Um, well, I had a lot of fun meeting like camp and things and hanging out with your friends. Um, everyone's really good at QA. And um, some of the really fun things we did was grade 10, the engineering challenge. And it was good, good fun because our team won the bridge competition, but we couldn't win the overall thing. So it'd be nice when QA brings home the title too. And um, the other thing that was a lot of fun was Science Survivor, which happens every year. And it was also really nice. And somehow, mysteriously, our team won in year 12, but I don't know how that happened either. Oh no, it was, I think it was a bit of luck. <laughs> okay. So what was it like working here with fellow prize Um, I think it was a lot of fun, like really, it's really good to have people who also are willing to study. Um, you can be a nerd here and no one will judge you for that. It's, um, I think it really just helped you push me to my potential. I think if, if I was in a normal school, I might probably slack off. I tend to be more of a lazy person, but when you see all your friends around you, studying you sort of go oh maybe I should do that too so I think it's it's really good to be around people it was the same in uni where you're around people oh I was in dentistry and so we all studied and it, it was really good for me to be around that sort of people otherwise it it just helps you make um just become the best person you can okay so what are some of the things that you've done since graduating um well, not much because I only graduated from uni last year. But um, so through, during uni, um, I did spend some time and I was tutoring for a number of years um, with QA students. So that was good, make some use of the stuff I learned at QA to earn some money. And um, I spent a bit of time, I got to go traveling twice overseas with some friends. So that was good. Everything else that I plan to do, I guess it'll start now. So what did you do? I went to Griffith. It was pretty smooth, I think. Um, a lot of people did tell me uni is a lot easier than high school. So I was expecting you have more time to play, more time to not do anything. And you have all this free time off. But some it turns out I was in dentistry and we had, I was there at uni five days a week. <laughs> we were studying, it's back to the same as being at school again. But I think it was still a bit easier because while in QA, we learnt everything for two years and had at least one exam at the end. Uni was still one semester at a time. So that still made it a little bit easier. I think so. I think it helped a lot. I think um, just having that confidence that you know you, you can study something for two years and remember it all, it just makes you remember something for a semester, which is really like 13 weeks at uni. It's not much at all and the content is just a lot less. So, what's some of the best learnings you've um, Like I mentioned before, um, having good friends here, it's been really important to have those friends around me. Like a lot of times in uni, I go, oh, why am I doing dentistry? I should just be enjoying life. Um, like, why didn't why did I put myself through this? But it's good to have a group of really good friends to help me get through, and we all like having them made me keep going oh if I stay in dentistry you know you can spend more time with these friends and study together a lot of good memories are made um the other thing that helped was that confidence that helped me get through you know you've been through QA you're a lot better than every other student who's just who's done their OP system and it just makes you have that confidence when you go writing your applications you're you have that little unique side about you when you do interviews as well it just gives you a lot more confidence um, at the moment, just enjoy not needing to study and earn some money, maybe travel again. Maybe I was thinking at a time, maybe learn an instrument or learn some other sports. I don't know, still figure it out. It's just really good being able to finish work, go home and not have to do anything. <laughs> yes. Okay, so if there was one tip you'd like to share with you, you always did. Yeah. Um, well, my biggest tip is that it's, it covers a broad thing, but study smart. It's not about studying 
24-7 and but sort of just sitting in front of the computer and think you're studying. You have to, when you're actually studying, it's study. Um, a couple of tips I came up with was, first one would be to really learn the basics. I know it might be a bit late if you're in grade 12, but grade 10 and 11, <laughs> learn your basics. Um, that means like definitions. I like, really know, like, even if you're just rope learning them, um, you have to, you know what, learn what the, all the individual words mean because it sort of makes a lot more sense once you know that. L learn your formulas. I know it's in a data booklet, but it, it's a lot faster when you know your formulas and how you can use them all together. Um, the next thing I can suggest is to make your own notes. I tried so many times studying other people's notes to save time, but it just never worked. And um, I brought some of my notes today. All my physics notes are handwritten. Actually, all my notes are handwritten in high school and they all fit in one book and that's it. That's all I needed. You don't need to write everything in your notes. It's sort of more stuff that um, while you're going through questions, past papers, things that you can never remember. That's the only thing you don't need to write down. If you remember it every single time, you don't need to put it in your notes. Um, and the final thing is do lots and lots of past questions. It's probably something grade 12 should be doing right now. Time yourself while you're doing them because um, you have a time limit in the exam. Try and finish it, if you've seen the paper before, try and finish it faster than you've done it the first time. Um, and try to finish in, say if it's a two hour exam, try and finish it in an hour. And you should be able, because the past questions have come up so many times, you should be able to see them and then know exactly which paper you, that was from, you know what the answer is, you know what they're going to ask you because that question, you should have done it that many times that you know it enough. Um, and I also think eventually when you've done enough, um, I found with chemistry and Maybe not so much physics, but chemistry. Uh, it's really good to, somehow you're able to link all the topics together. You see it as a whole subject rather than, you know, topic one is this, topic two is this, because actually they're, they're all linked together. It makes it a lot easier for you. Okay, I have one last question. Yep. If you were to redo time, yes. would you change anything? Um, I put a bit more effort into E and talk because I sort of let them slip. I did focus on all my subjects. Um, I got sevens and everything except English, but that's English, <laughs> sorry Miss Wood. Um, but um, yeah, E and talk, I kind of let it slip because I was like, oh, that's three points, it's all right. But that's, uh, <laughs> so yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. No worries, if anyone's any questions afterwards, feel free to come and ask me. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>